time for another beer review. Today we're going to have a go at this one, Haiku. Hazy double IPA from Deep Creek. 8.0 ABV. Ought to be a good one. Well, welcome back, another beer review. Uh, like I said before, today's Haiku. Hazy double IPA from Deep Creek, 8%. Um, looking forward to this one. Let's have a bit of a read of the old can. Our latest haiku, Eastern Philosophy meets East Coast USA. Haiku are written with one of the four seasons as inspiration. As flowers spring forth, poetry is inspired beneath the blossoms. Intense flavours of citrus, mango and lychee poetically bold. Artwork by Frederick Lanson. Uh, can't remember if it's the same guy that did the last one, the, the Misty Miyagi, but it's a koi carp, lotus flowers on the front. Um, so yeah, you won't miss that um, if you're looking for it in the supermarket. This one was pretty sure this was a uh, $7.99 at, uh, at your New World. So I've inverted it to get all the goodness out of it. And today we're, uh, we're drinking it not out of a tulip glass, but out of an old fashioned pint. Uh, when I say old fashioned, it's an old, uh, it's a Marsden pint. And for those of you from, not from the north, uh, Marsden pints were what were typically um, used to drink in the single men's quarters at the um, Marsden B and refinery uh, expansion. So the old MRC on that side and that uh, J, I think it's JV2 was the old, um, the uh, contractors that had the, had the contract for building the um, the point. This one's got written on the side, Marsden Point presented 1985, so it's a bit of an old digger, but it's still going strong. Thanks mum. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh, she's got a nice hazy pour. Got an ambery sort of color. You can smell the, um, you can smell the hops straight off the top. A little bit left in there for later. Nice head. You don't want to try and get, um, you want to try and, when you pour in a beer, you want to try and get a bit of head on there because what it's doing is it's releasing all the carbon dioxide that you, that's been squished into the can. Same with bottles when you're, um, when you're doing your home brew, don't worry about it having lots of head on it. The carbon dioxide is actually releasing and um, pulling all the flavors out. So you're trying to pour it so you haven't got a head, you're not actually doing the beer any favors. All right. Look at that, that's um, kind of murky, looks a little bit like the Northern Wire, or, but uh, smells a hell of a lot better. Yep, you can smell um, tropical fruit in there. It smells like peaches, I can smell peaches, which are probably lychees, I'm not a, not a bit of a fruit person, so I don't know what the hell a lychee is. I'm pretty sure it's one of these slimy little white things. Let's have a go. That's really good, that's got a, um, it's not bitter. You can taste that it's an 8% though, it's got, it's got that, um, sort of that slug when it gets to your guts. So it hits you in the stomach and you're like, yep, this has got some booze in it. So, yeah, that's, um, that's really good. Uh, I reckon one of these cans of 500 mils, 2.8 standard drinks. Um, when you think that a um, like a bottle of Heineken, I think is a is 1.3 or 1.2. So this is more than two Heinies in a in a 500 mil can. So value for money. Um, that's got a real nice. Uh, bitter flavour that sort of hangs around for a little bit in your mouth. Um, would I buy it again? Yeah I would, uh, especially at that price for a um, for a double IPA, hazy double IPA. Um, yeah that's really really good. Um, yet to find one that you don't like so 
if you guys have any comments that you want to bloody flies jesus um got any comments that you want to make any any beers you want us to try and see what see if we can find one that i don't like i don't know might be hard pressed actually unless it's a stout don't like those but uh, these these double ipas um definitely definitely like those so um yeah there's another beer review if you want to have a crack at this one deep creek they seem to be putting out a hell of a lot of good stuff we've got another one in there to try uh, the jungle ipa is going to be the next one so we'll have a go at that one but uh, yeah like and subscribe some other videos probably over here that you can um, have a look at and uh, we'll catch you next time with another beer review from uh, the beer sarge